Welcome to another video guys and we've got some news here in the UK we've now hit lockdown number four or we're in tier four which means it's going to affect how often we can actually record or if we can record so we will be doing a different type of video it won't be training but bear with us just so we can get stuff out and so you can watch stuff it's very sad <laughs> So to help us out, give us a, a message down below, give us a like, even if it's just hi, just something. Hi? Hi, mm. even just writing hi will help. It gets the algorithm to then start prioritizing. A rigmarate. A rigmarate. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to ring the bell. You're wondering where that's going, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, this is my distance stick for people when we go shopping. <laughs> and um, let's free that fear, but apparently not in our tier. So looking at today's video, we're going to start piecing together a few techniques. We're going to have just the one attack. You use the technique, you use what we're doing, and then you adapt it for any other attack you can think of. Which might be another video. Or another 50 videos, because there's probably more than 50 attacks that I can think of. Oh, I can think of three. A whole three? Mm. So what are we doing? So we're basically going to go from here, to here, to here. Wow, that looks cool. Fam familiar. And we're just going to show you how you can string stuff together. So we thought we'd start off with the Wing Chun stuff we did over the past few videos. Put it together and uh, let's see if it works. So we'll start off, we're going to show you the technique really slowly, telling you what your hand position should be, what you're looking out for. Then we're going to do it against a mock attack. Nice and slow, just so you get your technique down, you get your control. Then we're going to take it up a little bit, do a little bit faster, body protection like we normally do. And then at the end, we'll see if there's any disability adjustments that are needed. I.e. if I'm on my 2K or if I'm seated, I haven't got the wheelchair because it's all locked down stuff and I can't bring it in here, so... It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It I'm, doesn't work, I'm working off of stools and chairs at the moment and this is actually a bench. The, the actual um, weightlifting bench we use when we do fitness videos. It's true. What's this wee business? You're the only one doing it. What we're going to do is put together three of our techniques to make one coherent technique. Sounds interesting. What do you think? Yes. Kevin agrees. So I, I'm aware of the situation and to get the ready position, I'm going to let my hand slide down the curve of the crook so I can feel the top of the shaft. Either flick it up with my wrist or assist it up with my knee. Grab it with my left hand in the centre of the shaft and I've got that nice 30 degree position from our Wing Chun defence technique. And as you can see, I've got a nice range of motion from here. If I'm holding it the other way around, so it's the Phoenix position, if I bring it up, same way, because it might be closer, I've got the windscreen wiper. So the idea is I can transition between the two depending on what's going on. For the moment, we'll go up and then I can do my defense, which as you know will hurt. I can then go into my chain strikes. And then from here, I can clear windscreen wipe. So it may mean the arms come in, I'm pushing out of the way, taking out the way and I'm back into my striking again and that leads on to our big hammer, small hammers, pokes, whatever it is you need to do. So we've done the technique, 
make sure you've got that before you watch the rest part of this video. Now we're going to do just basically really, really slow. I'm going to be the attacker. I'm using my arms for this. So I'm going to do empty hand first. Okay. So guard, wherever your guard position is, you've seen what's coming. As you know, most attacks are ambush attacks, so unless you're aware of it. What's the hardest punch? The one you don't see. Exactly. But we're doing this for training, so please bear that in mind. So if Kev does the... Normally, punch, normally I give go for this sort of, but I'm going to just do a jab. So basically, I kind of fight southpaw, so, so I come in from this way. So there would be the 30 degree. Now at this point, I could either control that, strike in, or windscreen wiper it out of the way, and then start doing my yeah. attacks and arm breaks. That's the one I like, is once the weapon's here, and you know it's here, and you've actually got a defense against it, by pushing it over, I'm now, and normally, you'll see this in Wing Chun, we go from here, push down, over. And it's basic, just the start of a Wing Chun, Wing Chun, Chun drill. Exactly. They're not working today. I need new ones. You do. With the cane, my initial response, if it, I need to create that dip, you're either in or out of distance. So if I didn't have the cane, this would be midway between the two. This is not a good position. You've this is an ambiguous position. I don't know whether or not we're friends talking or whether or not he's actually going to come to do something nasty to me. So if he's the aggressor, he's getting verbal, I can step back, come up into my guard. Now straight away, I'm here. As soon as he starts to throw a punch, I'm moving very little. I think he's an idiot for punching me while I've got a stick in my hand. On this part, I've got no... If he decides I to do it... I can't hit you. If he does the old retract and does it with the other hand, if he does a big swing, I'm not doing much. But what I'm doing there, I'm going to transition into my windscreen wiper. <laughs> now, the punch would be straight in from there. Yeah. I'm clearing, I'm striking, whatever. <laughs> I can continue this, windscreen wiping, getting the drill through, and then I thought I'd be very careful here because I really want to strike that, and I can feel it hitting his skin. I, I can feel it hitting my skin. skin I was going to say skinny bony arms. Thank you. <laughs> but you're, I'm not attacking him, I'm attacking it, the weapon because that is really going to hurt. Yeah. And fortunately his head drops down, <laughs> so it gives me something I can strike afterwards. So I've taken three things and rolled them together. It doesn't have to be in that order. If Looking at the Wing Chun principle there though, is I was attacking straight on, in line, and all Chris was doing was taking me slightly offline. I'm, I don't, that's as much as I'm, I literally moved this much. And if I extend my arm through to try and hit him, you're a silly person. No, but um, if we do it this way as well, yeah. once he's got me offline, and then no. I'm going to try with a straight arm to hit his face and it ain't going to happen. So just to prove a point, I'm going to stop it this way. So he throws the punch and I'm going to try. Now, I can stop him if I go too low an angle. It's off, but that nice angle there. <laughs> in fact, look. Push, mate, go on, push. I'm not pushing. Look, one hand, one push. hand. One hand. I'm so weak. Now, the advantage is that if he does do that, I'm going to go into karate principles and relax. <laughs> oh no, the dreaded Spanish Inquisition. So, we're just rolling these together. It works well for... I oh, know we said we would only do one technique, but if he does a double grab, it's going to be... I know if his head starts to come back for a head part, I know just to put that up there. Ooh. But what I really want to do is windscreen wiper it. As I'm doing that, it transitions into that 30 degree because he may have let go, he's off, and what a shot. I can windscreen wiper, go through. You hit my hat. I'm hitting the hat. Bounder. Now from here, I don't want to be on this live side. So this is where it transitions into windscreen wiper and we're back to the same thing. But hey ho, I'm here. And what's the one thing somebody's going to say as soon as I do that? No. <laughs> I, broke this, I broke this thumb a little while ago, so I'm going to hold this hand. But you know, this... I'm going to grab your cane. Which is fine. Now, I can do lots of all this kind of stuff, but well, I just might continue chain punching. <laughs> so if someone grabs your cane and say, thank you, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, 
You've given me a blessing. Grab my pen. Yeah. And because I've got strong. Yeah. Good. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm so trying to push. I want him. No, see, <laughs> I want him to push because I am going to go. <laughs> Relax. That was a reaction. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, well, mean... I know it was a reaction, but you were nowhere near. I know. Because you were. It, it moved. So these are little principles you can throw together. They don't have to be in the same order. You know, straight to here. If he goes for that headbutt. So if he wants to do a double grab. I don't want to do a double grab. <laughs> okay. He's going to make me do a double grab. So he's going to pull me in close. So, I mean. My sternum hurts already. It's just as well as going for the arm. No. Bit. I don't have to go for the sternum. I've got this perfectly good point yeah. here. If I'm feeling particularly clever, under the nose. Ooh. The chances of me getting that under the nose, but all sorts. We've done the windscreen wiper, coming to the pushing waves, back into the 30 degree. It will all link together. The idea is, you won't do a perfect technique. It will look awful in reality, but from people I've taught and the experience they've told back to us, they may do a double grab, and you say, well, we've taught all this, and they might do something completely random and just see an opportunity. So it might just be... Like that? Do you know, do that again, I'll tell my mum. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm scared of your mum. <laughs> yep. If I'm in this position, oh, look, ribs. <sighs> it, it doesn't matter, but it gets you into the mindset of flowing in from one to another and keeping that continual assault upon them until they desist from their action. I'm going to make you feel what I've just felt. And to be honest, I didn't realise this until we started messing about. What's that? No, no, there's actually... There. Um, oh, okay. There was actually something on his t-shirt. But Chris, grab my a sec. And God. be really relaxed. <sighs> just really relaxed, right? So what Chris was doing was he was basically going forwards and backwards and turning side to side. How does that make you actually feel? Um, I'm Ow. feeling like I should put that down before it hits your knee again. The but feeling I was getting was seasick. And then we call this pushing waves for a reason because it's like pushing. But once you start going one way and then changing it, going the other, then coming up and going around and going through and going side, you do get that seasick feeling inside. So with a cane, you're not only just defending your inline core, but you're disassociating them. Yeah. We, we have a lovely technique that Kev's just reminded me of. Yeah. Same principle, so we can do you all that. You want to go for the punch? Do what you like, I don't care. <laughs> From here. So I'm just going to slide it through. Oh. Come here. So, rather than squeeze, because I know how much he hates squeezing. I'll get ready to tap, guys. <laughs> okay. But if we just do what Kev did to me. No. <laughs> and we just... Oh, <laughs> you lasted less than a second. <laughs> This is one of my favourite techniques from Seifai. <laughs> oh, the, um, the... Yeah, and we have this. It's in Pinan, Nidan. It bit discombobulates somewhat. Honestly, you don't realise it until it's been put on you. Just how woozy you feel. So you're taking the fight out of someone, really, aren't we? It works really well, that technique. If you go around the ribs. Yeah. But we're not doing that today. Also, um, when we, we will look at the ribs, and we'll also look at when you do it with the head. Yeah, we'll do this with Because that really does. A good kata bunkai, that. Yeah, so I know you guys are not much on the katas because obviously on the videos they're not showing that you're liking them, but there are some bits in there that we really do bring in. So we're going to try and refilm something, the katas in a different way. Yeah, but what do you think? Was that good? Let us know in the comments. I was great. Not sure about my sidekick here. As promised, one of us is going to wear protection. Oh, you really want me to, don't you? Okay, Chris has got the gear on. And again, we go gentle to start with because even though you can feel that, can't you? And you can feel this, and it's not nice. Didn't hurt. Didn't feel a thing. So I'm going, to go, I'm going to do my left-handed, so we're quite close to here. So the 30, different for me, especially with a full cane, because I'm used to being sat in the chair. It comes in, he does a punch. I've not moved much to come through. I'm waiting for the second one to come through, and the third one's going to meet. 
it was kind of a windscreen wiper. I went to start, as Dan comes in, mate, that was the windscreen wiper. I got to a certain point where I knew he was offline, and then I rolled with it. My hand is now controlling his elbow, and the cane is just coming to slightly tap the side of the head. Had that film on the head? Oh, that worse. Right, at full speed, <laughs> and without <laughs> yeah, head protection, yeah. then you are gonna, you know, cause some problems. Yeah. So again, he comes through, I've took one, I've took two, the third one coming through, now I've got him into a cross position. I can either jam the cane straight towards him, which is giving me some space, if he decides to grab the cane from there, he's in a big lot of problem because I'm going to cover his hand and I'm coming over the top and this is when I'm going to start attacking the jawline. Chris has mentioned before, there's loads of lovely little nerve bundles all down the jaw, down the neck and these are knockout spots. If he's got the two-handed grab, for me, usually I've got um, side protectors on my wheelchair, so I'd have my half cane. I'm coming up, I'm attacking vulnerable space here, here, throat, chin, third eye. I could go sternum, but to get to sternum I've got to bring the cane back and come forward. In that time, if we say the what five second rule, mm -hmm. if he's got a choke on, and it's like one second, two seconds, three, I'm starting to really panic. Not really because I hold my breath, I control my airway, you don't. So then with the double grab, I'm looking at the wave format, I want them out of the way to start with. I got to here, I've got into a windscreen wiper. I'm now on his dead side, I'm rolling over to get the strike in, put him back, strike through, I'm back into my 30 degree again. He grabs, <laughs> he grabs, I just do this and he goes, no thank you. I'm hitting the side, hitting the side, go from that way. Let's have a little go with the half. Just so happens I've got one here prepared earlier. Blue Peter. That's even better for me. If he comes, if the cane's here and he comes in for a double grab. <laughs> I enjoyed that. But I've got more sort of options that I can do. I've got the 30 if I need it. And he comes through. <laughs> I know, we know about it, yet we still do it. Yeah. So I've got the potential just to lean forward, and I'm using my body weight. If the hand comes in, hand comes in again, then I'm going to come into an arm bar. This is what we call an assisted arm bar, where we've got the cane braced against our arm, and instead of coming over and doing the rolling motion, I'm just using the cane to assist me through. And then this, is going to meet the head. Thank you very much. Best cane disarm ever. <laughs> These are not hard, fast rules. This is just literally a situation arises. These are the techniques you can use. You can use it in that order, to that order, to that order, or you come up to here and think, oh no, I'm going to use that first, then I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to come into a defence stance. Haha! <laughs> I've stopped your vicious attack. Mmm. How's that? <laughs> you really, really didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> I didn't really want that either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who can injure the other one the most competition. <laughs> oh my, he's being hit my knee on the way out. <laughs> what the f well, you made it to the end of the video. Well done. You are a star. Don't forget to drop us a line, even if it's just to say hello. This all helps. Smash that like button. Help us out, get some more people. We do have merch, so we will... There's always a link in the description. Yeah. It's Christmas. Buy your family a Sons of Cain t-shirt. Shameless plug. This will go out after Christmas. No, about before. <laughs> it will, trust me. I'm a nurse. I don't trust you. So don't forget to subscribe. We look at we love a good subscription. You <laughs> love it, don't you? I do. Then we're gonna it makes me happy. Smash that bell. Smash it. Not dry, ring it. Do I slap? Do I slap? Do I slap that bell? And as always, he's waiting for the FTF. That's where I put the logo.
F T. F. Listen, F T F. Yeah, well you did S. Well, I was doing F R E E T H E. <laughs> you made something F-E-A-R. simple. F E A R. Free the fear. We'll free the fear, but we'll cage the Kev. <laughs> Instead of being Kev two canes, you'll be the caged Kevin of. I would say the C word, but I can't. I'm gonna have a little sign next time saying I'm being held hostage by you. Saying I'm little. <laughs>